All right, welcome back in. February, of course, is American Heart Month, and this afternoon we're on your side with information on a type of heart attack that could become potentially deadly. Dr. Nerman uh, Abatia is uh, joining us now. He's an interventional cardiologist from Heart South. He joins us by FaceTime now to talk about the dangers of a STEMI heart attack and how you can treat them. First off, doctor, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me today. No, thanks for how being here. I'm doing good. Uh, this is a very big topic here. So we'd like to know what is a STEMI first off? Did you hear me there, doctor? What is a STEMI? Yes, so uh, STEMI stands for ST elevation myocardial infarction, which uh, is a technical term, but in simple language, it's a major heart attack that happens when one of the arteries supplying blood to the heart gets blocked suddenly with a blood clot and a portion of the heart suddenly stops getting blood flow. Yeah, well, are there symptoms for that that people can recognize? So the classical symptoms or the most typical symptoms that people have are sudden onset, severe chest pain or chest tightness. Uh, some people describe it as something sitting on their chest or something squeezing their chest. Uh, sometimes this pain can go up into their jaw or into the arm. Mm -hmm. It's usually central or left-sided. Um, and most people tend to have these symptoms, but it's also important to keep in mind that some people also have atypical symptoms where they can experience sudden onset nausea, sweating, or feeling dizzy, passing out, things like that. Yeah, so what should someone do if they start feeling these symptoms? So, you know, the most important thing is not to ignore it for too long and call 911 immediately. And the reason is that the artery has been blocked and the heart muscle is not getting enough blood flow. And time is keen, and we call it time is muscle. The quicker we're able to address this problem, the more heart muscle we can save from dying permanently. So every minute is important because, you know, uh, when the artery is blocked, the heart muscle is just dying constantly. And the moment patients have any of these concerning symptoms, the quickest thing to do is to call 911. It's important not to try to drive yourself to the hospital, but call 911. Very, very, very impressive. We got about 30 seconds left. So what is the usual treatment in this? Does it vary from patient to patient or is there a usual way that you go about it? Right. So, you know, since the artery has been blocked, we have to open the artery and reestablish blood flow. And classically, uh, blood thinners were given to try to open it up. But the most modern treatment is to uh, put a stent in and open up that blockage, which we can do through the arteries of the wrist or the groin. Uh, if patients live close by to, um, to a center which is capable of doing that, uh, that allows us to quickly, you know, get into the heart arteries and, you know, open it up with a balloon and put a stand in. And we call this a percutaneous intervention. All right. Well, we thank you so much, uh, cardiologist Dr. Nerman Bhatia. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and we've uh, we've definitely been trying to keep our viewers up to, to date on what's happening during this uh, heart month here in the month of February. Thank you again. Thank you so much and thank you for